Good evening, friends. Uh, it's absolutely a pleasure to come to Jaipur, and uh, I was just, you know, telling Vishal and Steve when they, they told me that uh, we have to go to Jaipur. So I said, "What is Jaipur?" I mean, like, I know Jaipur. I've been here so many times, but uh, they said it's a very special uh, moment, and uh, Air Financial is going to un unveil its new logo and. Uh, uh, new operate, uh, you know, uh, jingle or uh, whatever, operate uh, song. So I said, I mean, this seems to be kind of uh, uh, some kind of corporate event uh, from one of the companies which we have financed. So <clears throat> I was not too enthusiastic about the whole thing. Then I said, I think I plan my mind. And I said, let me just pile uh, on to whatever he's saying. And uh, having spent uh, the day, I am really delighted that uh, I have come here and the city of Jaipur and the food here and uh, just the hospitality of uh, Sanjay and his team. And uh, I was uh, really fortunate to meet uh, Anil from SJC Bank and the uh, entire team from Adelia Bank. So it has been pleasure to see what AU Financials is uh, out to do here. I have seen a lot of entrepreneurs, but uh, First time when I met, uh, when the proposal came, Vishal showed me the proposal and uh, introduced Sanjay to me. And uh, I said, I'm um, a guy we must back. Except that uh, we wanted minimum 10 crores of profit delivered before we look at the proposal. But we were also new and uh, we said, this guy is definitely going to make it great. Uh, the, the issue is whether we should do it or not. And then we very happily and uh, with uh, full consensus, we went ahead and our investment committee kind of approved it without any hitch. And now, when that time we had seen the proposal only from Mumbai, but now having come here, seen him, his effort, his team, uh, what they are out to achieve, what they, what is their process. Basically, today morning for the first time I could see uh, how good is the process they have in terms of uh, what they do in terms of this two to three lakhs of loan. So I was quite amazed the kind of entry barriers they created. Uh, most of the banks, let me tell you, a lot of banks, even uh, HDFC or IDPI, or, I mean, I don't think they can put the intensity of work for two or three lakhs of loan, what these guys are doing day in, day out. I think they have a huge company advantage. I, I only hope and I wish that these guys, they not only continue with their current practices, but they make it much more sharper with the help of technology and dedication, make it much bigger. It's a very scalable model. And uh, I, my sense is that these guys are going to make a lot of money, lots of money for themselves. And uh, since uh, we are also invested at the early stage of the journey of AU uh, financials, uh, I, I actually we are onto a good frame. And uh, uh, Jaipur will see and eventually emerges of a serious corporate out of this place. I don't know of any Jaipur based serious corporate. I have tried to leave one or two of them, but uh, I think so far uh, it has remained a jewelry shop rather than a corporate shop. So <clears throat> I think uh, we we'll see emerges of some corporate activity, and even AI financials will definitely show the way for serious corporate activity. And, the type of management, culture, and tax compliance, and everything, I think AU Financial will set a good standard, and I wish them huge uh, success uh, going forward. Uh, having come here, I think, uh, and uh, this beautiful hall and so many people, I can't uh, stop myself uh, not talking about a stock market. And uh, I think uh, uh, people must be, this is a time, I think, when uh, this is a time you can spend a little time on to hearing about the stock market. Just a month back, I think things were pretty bad. But now things have come up somewhat. And uh, uh, I think people have covered a lot of smiling. So I'm sure, uh, you know, this is a time for celebration. But I think uh, this time, the time for celebration has come much earlier than what most of us were anticipating. We were expecting about uh, two years of uh, kind of depressed time and even I think market has a style of surprising everybody and uh, it has uh, lived by its reputation and it has surprised everybody. I mean the depth of pessimism which we saw in the second half of last year, I think that set the tone 
for whatever little uh, optimism we are seeing. And uh, uh, my sense is that the definitely the of pessimism in the market has come down. Uh, but uh, uh, but the, the journey in next five, seven years is going to be very, very exciting. Uh, I don't know whether markets will go to 30,000 in the next six months, one year. It's very difficult to say anything about it. And I don't have any clue uh, where the market is heading in the very short term. But let me just leave you uh, this evening with a thought of next trillion dollar opportunity. You know, India took 30 years to reach a trillion dollar GDP. It was in 1977 that we were, our economy was doing about 100 billion. And now we are doing a trillion. Now, you all are businessmen. <coughs> the next trillion dollar is going to happen in the next six to seven years. So this economy, what you might have seen in Jaipur or any other place happening big time in the last five to six years, you'll be stunned what will happen in the next 10 years. The next 10 years is going to be at least five to six times more exciting than the last five years. And why is that going to be? Because when the next trillion dollar hits, I mean, you, China did a trillion dollar in 1998. Nobody knew what China is in the world at the stage. But once China started hitting the second trillion dollar, that was in 2002, 2003, world started celebrating about, talking about China. And today, China has become the moving force, the growth engine of the world. Now, India is in the same state what China was in 1998. So the journey from 2008 to 2018 is going to be I mean, huge for India. And uh, clearly, it is happening with China. So you will be, you will be like us younger brother of China, but I'm quite sure for every business, uh, for a lot of businesses, particularly banking businesses where the new financials comes as a relevant company, what is going to happen is that uh, in the next five, seven years, the, uh, the savings rate which has moved up from 21, 22% to 35, 36 percent may move up to as high as 42, 43 percent in the next six, seven years. And on that too, on a uh, almost double of the GDP, that is about $2 trillion. So the annual savings rate is going to be more like half a trillion dollars. So when you have more than half a trillion, almost a, in the next 7 to 10 years, you are going to see savings rate climbing to as high as a trillion dollar a year. We will not need any of the FIs to support the markets in those, in those days. And this, the whole stock market space, the business space, the tourism, I think, the city of Jaipur is going to be immensely benefited out of uh, development of tourism. And the trade market will explode big time. The AU financials, if they do their act together, if they put their act together and keep their head down in a focused way, the, the way they walk, I think they will, I think they can replicate what their, uh, uh, the biggest supporter of HDFC Bank did. And as Sanjay said, his, his, He's got a lot of inspiration from what HDFC has been able to achieve in the last 10 to 12 years. HDFC Bank is just about 15 years old bank and it's already the second biggest bank, private sector bank in India and I would say it is the most reputed bank in private sector in India. So AU Financial has that kind of opportunity in an environment which is going to be very, very enabling and very conducive for a, for a passionate, and, and passionate, ambitious and hard working businessman. So all the best to AU Financial and uh, uh, all the best to all my friends and uh, have a nice time. Thank you.